Hello everyone, my name is John. I work with True. True, it's an acronym of Transforming Lives, Restoring Hope, and Uniting Communities. True started as a street ministry, Jesus to the street, because our aim is to share Jesus with the street people. That's why it all started as Jesus to the street. After I received Christ, I experienced his love. I experienced kind of a family. I felt like I have a family because reading the scripture, God is calling me his own. God is calling me his son and he's saying he's my father. And that was not normal to me. That was very strange that someone cares about me, that someone cares that uh, he loves that he loves me that I'll call him my dad. So I felt I need to share this good news with other people. They are uh, kind of me. They are people who are like me in the street and I need to share with them this. I didn't know how but someone encouraged me to go out, make an invitation and bring them in and start sharing Christ and the love I feel with them. And that's how the ministry started. And the ministry is making disciples because when I felt that love, when I felt that I'm a disciple of Christ, I wanted the others also to experience the same. So my name's Taylor, and I want to tell you a little bit about what True does. Uh, True is a ministry. We're very focused on being out on the streets. We want to meet the boys on the streets where they are. It seems to be an area that is very neglected in a lot of Christian ministries of going out and meeting people where they are. So that's one of the core things that we're very intentional about is going out onto the street. We also want to saturate our entire ministry with prayer. We dedicate a whole uh, morning that we have each week as a staff uh, to praying together. Um, and that's it's invaluable um, in our ministry to have that time together where we're lifting up to God the things that we're seeing on the streets. One of the other things that we want to do is we want to continue to invest in the communities of wherever we are because these boys that are on the streets, the difficult lives they're facing, uh, is going to be supported the rest of their life by the community that they're in. So if they understand how to become part of that community, how to jump into that community and become integrated in a healthy way, their whole life and their whole set of support circumstances after that point are going to be uh, so much better. Their outcomes are going to be much more phenomenal if they understand how to integrate into their communities uh, fully. Uh, our aspirations are to reach out across the country, every place where there's street people, because we see there a community that has been somehow sidelined even in the sharing of the gospel. Very few people reach out to them with the gospel, with the intention of making disciples. People will reach out to them more often with food and giving them hope, but not with the intention of making disciples from the street people. And that's our aspiration, reaching out to or across the country and eventually East Africa. And even as God leads, we we'll love to reach out globally. My name is Pabs. I'm part of the Haki team at One Tribe. And one of the programs we are working with is True Ministry. Currently, we are supporting the activation of the Street Girls Ministry. And we would love your support. So one of the ways you can come alongside this, first of all, we have the discipleship programs every Monday from 11 to 1. Yeah, we invite you at Gidurai, yeah, where we just get to share the love of God, share scriptures, uh, sing together, pray. And of course, we have a simple meal. And then once a month, we'll also love to be blessing them with care packs. Yeah, so we would love it if you can come alongside in terms of contributions or just your presence, especially volunteering. We really need volunteers to be able to take this off and we are counting on one tribe to help. One of the other things that we're really excited about is we're having a drop-in center. There's a new facility that we're going to be opening up right in the heart of Githarai. Very rough area, very uh, d lots of darkness surrounding right where we're going to be. And that's going to be an awesome opportunity for who? For one tribe. For one tribe to come down to offer any classes, teach any skills, get involved in any way that you can. And we're not talking about coming down and giving eight hours. Come down, give a small amount of time, an hour and a half, two hours. Invest in these boys and, and invest in these girls, invest in this community in a very real and tangible way. Uh, those opportunities are right on the horizon um, and we'd love to have a, a slew of volunteers ready to jump in and ready to invest in this community the way that we're excited to.